Hi, YouTube. I'm filing the flight plan, by the way. I'm not doing... Nico's filing the flight plan. Welcome to the Seminole. First dual engine plane. Today we're going to be flying up to Bellingham IFR. Hope you guys are just okay. thrilled for that. What route is ours? So we'll talk about that in the run. So awesome. free flight check complete, free flight landing. We filed, cabin doors left. Go latch, latch, latched. And then seat belts are secured, right? Engine start, cold engine, battery master switch on. Okay. Gear position indicators, make sure it says three green. These are the gear. Make sure you just don't touch the hat, please. Don't move the gear on the ground. That... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right. Why would I have to say that? Why would I, why would I have to tell you? Clear prop. Okay, so we're clear over there. Looks good. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to crank the starter right there and then let go when it starts. And then that's it, really. I mean, simple as that. You, you know, the brakes. brakes are on already. You don't need to do it. You're all good. Can you hear it backfire? Yeah. Is that normal? <laughs> So now what we'll do is we'll turn fuel. Alright. Bump it down to. No, no. So hold it down to about 1200 RPM. Yeah, that was actually a lot better. I think we primed it too much so it backfired. If there's extra fuel in there, it'll backfire like that. So these are our RPM gauges right here. That's manifold pressure. This is EGT. So we just care about keeping it around 1200 to 1000 RPM. Alright. Make sure it's in there all the way. Because last time we flew, it was in there halfway. Alright, it's in there. Last it's time we used that. Oh, yeah, put the edge. Can you put your headset on first? It's, it's on. I can hear you. My, My mic, mic wasn't right. there. Hey. Hey. How's, How's it going? going? That's you loud and clear. Friend information, Papa. 2353, three, zero oh. observation. Wind 160 at 5. Visibility 10. Ceiling 4200 overcast. Temperature 11, dew point 2, altimeter 3009. Runway 16 in use. Expect the RNAV approach. As this weather information for Western Washington is available on flight service frequencies. Rent ground, Cessna, uh, or sorry, Seminole 781, November Delta, with information Papa at Rainier with uh, IFR clearance to Bellingham. Ugh, that was rough. Seminole 781, November Delta, Renton ground, clear to Bellingham Airport via the Renton 3 departure, then as filed. Climb via the SID, expect 6,000, five minutes after departure. See how departure 50 and squawk 3526. Clear to Bellingham via the Renton 3 departure, then as filed. Climb via the SID, six uh, and then 6,000, five minutes after the departure. Departure is on 119.2 and 3526 for uh, 781 November Delta. Seminole 781 November Delta, Rebecca, correct, runway 16, taxi Alpha. 16 Alpha, 781 November Delta. All right, sweet. So that was so slave me. controls, I'm gonna test the brakes. Let go of the brakes, awesome. please. I'm there, I'm off. Okay, sweet. So, I'm gonna start rolling, power idle. There we go, okay, brakes work, your controls. My controls. Visuals. So today we're gonna go I far up to Bellingham. Um, should be a pretty fun flight. Winds aren't too bad. Oh, we're gonna have a fat tailwind all the way down. On departure, we're gonna, at 400 feet, we're gonna take a heading of 150. At 1,000 feet, we're gonna take a heading of 130, 130. SML 71, November Delta, runway 16, clip takeoff. All right, gear up, everything full forward, good job, nice. And you can trim a lot, this requires a lot to trim. Trim down here, blue line. Blue oh, line. there it is, there it is. Found the blue line. Nice, now that we're at 400, turn left. So we're sending one of our Delta contact seal departure seal. For departure, I have a good one, uh, one of our Delta. Oh wow, you didn't like say blah 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 blah. Whatever. Delta departure, Seminole 781, November Delta, climbing through 1,300 for 3,000. November 781, November Delta, Seattle departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 6,000. 6,000, 781, November Delta. So now I want you to pitch it for 105, and that's our cruise climb. Okay. And I'm going to cruise this out, so 25 inches of manifold pressure. That's the suction inside the engine. And then uh, RPM. Oh, no. oh, wow. Surprise, surprise. Wow. Is your camera going to be okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. You sure about that? Yeah, let's give that guy out. 
Delta. Number 781 Delta. Delta, turn right heading 160 vectors for your climb. 160, uh, November Delta. Uh, number 781 November Delta, contact Seattle, Seattle, Seattle Approach Control, 123.9er. 123.9er, have a good one, uh, November Delta. Approach, November 781 November Delta, climbing through 5800 for 6000. So. November 781 November Delta, turn left, direct pain, VOR, resume on navigation, altimeter 3003. Direct pain, resume on nav 3003, uh, November Delta. Get out of here. Look at this, Get out break out. Oh, that's because he's the GOAT. Bro, oh. look at that. Get your phone. Look at that break out. Oh my god. He's the goat! Number 299. Nico, Elsa, you know what's cool? It's so quiet here, you can actually talk. Kind of. Whoa! Kind of. Bro, wait, we should trade headsets. Dude. Bro, the light speeds don't seal at all. I just touched your mic and it's so slimy. <laughs> Bro, the light speeds don't, they don't seal. Bro, these are right. right. Oh, you're right, they don't. Nice, music. nice music, by the way. L headset, dude. Uh, one November Delta, contact would be approach 120.7. 120.7, one November Delta, thank you. Would be approach Seminole 781, November Delta, level 6000. Seminole 781, November Delta, would be approach, would be altimeter 3003. 3003, oh. one November Delta. And Bellingham is landing runway 34. Roger. Maintaining 6,000, we're direct tub T. Um, brief the approach. We'll do it, I'd love to. So we're gonna do that. I guess it's your camera, you do whatever you want with it. 111, descend via the man. I, mean, I am the most narcissistic person out there. Wait, 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 all right, I got green. We're good. Nice, dude. I can listen to music. Then three two point seven. Victoria one three two point seven. Have a good one. Uh, one number Delta. So save that. Okay, just kidding. So that's that's Boeing. Boeing Tower. It's fine. Just change it. Three uh one three two point seven, baby. Victoria Seminole November seven eight one November Delta uh, four thousand. Number 781, November Delta, Victoria Terminal, Bell Amy Altimeter, 3003, Aegis Zulu, just out. This is 3003, and we'll get Zulu, uh, one, one November Delta. Do one November Delta, Delta, Roger, you want to set up for a straight in RNAV approach to runway 34? Yeah, we'd like the RNAV the Yankee, one November Delta. One November Delta, Roger, cross top T at 3500, or above. It cleared on a Yankee runway 34 approach. Up to at uh, 3,500, cleared for the Arnav Yankee runway 34, uh, one November Delta. Roger. Oh, Roger. Nice. They always say that in response. Remember we went last time? Did we go IFR or no? Uh, I, so Victoria Tunnel always. We went VFR. So the way they do it I've in gone up here with Elliot though. Yeah, the way they do it in Canada is they always respond to your response. <laughs> So. Dory, low Westchester 380, we see Ralph Abbott for climbing through 2300 for 11,000. Uh, Westchester 380, Victoria Terminal, oh. or good evening, identified. That is the thickest Canadian accent I've ever seen in my, heard in my life. I don't even sound Canadian. Well, yeah, it sounds like a, you know the YouTuber? And Victoria, November 781, November Delta has information Zulu. One November Delta, thanks. Sitting on. 
Delta, Contact Bellingham Tower, 1249. Good evening. Over tower, have a good one, uh, 781, number middle. Breakfast, center both. Fuel pumps will turn that on. Bellingham Tower, November 781, November Delta, on the Arnav Runway 34, Yankee. Alright, so then. Seminole 781, November Delta, Bellingham Tower, Runway 34, clear to land. Clear to land 34, uh, one November Delta. Descent. Alright, your controls, let's follow the ILS down. My controls. I think, looking in the gear mirror, that the landing gear, the front gear's down, but. I've got the runway lights in sight. Alright, that flaps. Here we go. Increase power evenly, please, evenly. So bring this right one down to 12. To power as we to go level off. If you want to have a kind of a nose high, yeah, protect the nose wheel. Oh, there we go. Power idle. Sweet, dude. And you see how much I have to yank back to protect the nose wheel? Because it just oh, comes okay. down. Nice, dude. And we must see Oh, actually, that's an exit right there. And then we'll do a full stop taxi back. Where's the... <laughs> oh, there's Echo right there. Check that. Right. Seminole 1, November Delta, turn right, one able, contact ground one off. Right, one able, contact ground one, November Delta. 1274. I remember this because it's the backwards of tower. Oh, nice. Wait, actually? Oh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, wow. Backwards of tower, Renton. I don't know if we can do touch goes here, too. <laughs> it's too low biz, actually. You know what I realize? Yeah. So why don't we, you want to go back to the uh, FBO, you know? Get some uh, yeah. Go to Arrow. Arrow. Pulling him ground, Seminole 781, November Delta off, 34 on Echo, uh, taxi to Bellingham Aviation Services. Seminole 781, November Delta, Bellingham ground, taxi to ramp via Echo and Delta. Ramp via Echo and Delta, one November Delta. All right, your controls, you got this dude. My controls. Were you on the right checklist? This is such a slayful flight. Oh my god, dude. Beautiful ILS. Hey, the, the camera's still on. That's surprising, because I think that's fun. Shut up. <laughs>